So what I'm going to show you now is how we can access to the web viewer of the HMI program or the Cosmic Shop at the Terminal Expert and see how we can navigate depend on the user configuration. So let's go to the application. So in this um, application, what I have done is to create three different users, okay, three different groups. The level one, so I have two level ones that the level one with the user AAA and the password AAA, okay, has the possibility to, uh, let me just go back here, to access to the web viewer as a monitor and operation. So they can monitor, see what is in there, and also make operations on some of the options that we have. Then we have the other level one, user group three, that only has the monitor access, okay? And then we have on the level two, me, okay? It's a security level two, and the web viewer as a monitor and operation. So in order to test this out, what I have done is to create two different screens with the same buttons for navigation, different screens, and here on the top of the screen number one, I have the login and logout, and here the indication of the actual current user and the level of the user. So what we can do is to simulate this. It's going to be on this side. So now we need to test this on the web viewer. So we can simulate the web viewer going to my IP address. So I'm going to move myself a little bit. There we go. So I'm going to use the credentials AAA. But first, no, let's go with the, the other one, BBB. BBB. That this user doesn't have the possibility to monitor to, to make operations. So log in. As you can see, I can see the screen, but I'm not able to log in or do nothing over here because I don't have the possibility to change this to operation. Now, if we go back, log out, and connect with AAA, login. Here, if you're able to see monitor, okay, monitor doesn't allow me to do anything at all. Okay, let me just move myself a little bit here. Good. So here, operation. Now, we should be able to do something. You can see that it changed the color, so we're doing something here. I can press this one to log in. Okay. To log in again. As you can see, the security level is zero. Even if I log in. So here you have the possibility to create, for example, a new group for login access into the web viewer. And inside this environment of the HMI, you have like um, different groups to access to your application. So you can assign different level for the each of the buttons. So you can define someone to um, to define, for example, I have one group of the web viewer access. And then inside your application, you have different levels as normal to enable the use of some of the buttons. Okay. So here, for example, I'm going to log in again and I'm going to use the BBB. I'm going to put it over here, enter. And BBB again, enter. So as soon as I log in, I number one. Okay. And as you remember, then BBB user doesn't have the possibility to operate, but that is only for the uh, web viewer. As you can see here, you have two different levels, the web viewer and then your main application of the HMI. So this can be one way to sort it out. We just log out again. You can see here, and I'm going to use the other one, level two, LTA, LTA. Okay, and log in again. As you can see level two, I can navigate to the things once again. Log out, level zero, but again, I'm able to touch because I'm on the web viewer interface and it's a different thing. Okay, so basically this is how you can make security on the buttons uh, and use on the web viewer. And for more details, 
in each of the objects you have details and you have the security level and here is where you can select the level for each object to have access um, depend on the user that we have so um, this is it for security along with the web viewer and probably the different users that you may have on your application so thank you very much for watching the video and i see you on the next one Thank you.